infused tomato soup butter. Why would I want that? I'll tell you exactly why. You could spread it on grilled cheese. You know how you used to dip your grilled cheese in tomato soup? Well now you'll always have it in the fridge. Also, if you like buttery pasta, toss it in some pasta. Bam bam, tomato infused pasta. Consider subscribing to my channel for more mind blowing recipes just like this. Let's get started. So for ingredients, we're actually, it's a two part video. We're gonna, one part is gonna be making homemade butter. The other part is making homemade uh, tomato soup. So it's a win win for everybody. We have onion, chicken stock, cream, tomato, crushed tomatoes, Italian preferred crushed tomatoes. I have basil here. I also have a cheesecloth with peppercorn, thyme, bay leaf, and garlic inside. We're gonna roll it up, tie it off. That's gonna infuse all that nice flavor in there and then I can just remove it at the end. Okay, so first we're gonna start with our homemade butter. Now, here's the thing. If you have a Ninja, it acts slightly like a food processor, and that's what you need. Now, if you don't have a Ninja, I would highly recommend using a food processor. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna dump one quart of cream into this. We're gonna turn on a high setting for about five to eight minutes. What's gonna happen is it's eventually gonna start separating. The milk is gonna start separating from the butter, and we're gonna be left with pure butter. All right, so after about eight minutes, you're gonna notice I'm pouring out the excess milk now, and then inside what's left is the pure butter. After eight minutes, this is what you're left with, pure butter. If you're gonna use this solely for butter, you wanna put it in cheesecloth and let the excess milk completely drain off. But for the recipe I'm about to show you, I got most of the milk off. Next, we're gonna start building the base for our soup. Grab a pot, put in your onions, All right, now we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna add our tomatoes to the pot. We can also add a little bit of sugar and that's gonna help with the acidity of the tomato. Now we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna add our chicken stock. And also the basil. Now we're gonna puree this at the end, so I'm literally gonna just rip and put the whole basil in there like that. So, throw your basil in there, you can throw the whole leaves in there, I literally just tore them and threw them right in. And then you can go ahead and add your sachet as well. We're gonna let this cook down for about 30 minutes. If it gets too thick, just add a little bit more water to it. The chicken stock's already in there, so it's gonna be real strong. So just add a little bit more water. All right, so after 30 minutes, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna take our sachet out. And then I'm gonna take the remaining contents, put them in the blender, and we're gonna blend it all up. So the ingredients are inside the blender. Whenever you put hot ingredients in a blender, make sure that you have the top cracked just a little bit so it doesn't explode all over you like a volcano. Now get a large size non-stick saute pan. We're gonna go ahead and add our butter to this. Now, we're not gonna heat the butter, we're just gonna melt the butter. You're not gonna like boil this or anything. So have it on like a low medium heat, melt it all the way down. So now once your butter's completely melted, now we're gonna add in our tomato soup. And you don't need to add too much, so you still want it to be mostly butter to soup because it is butter tomato soup continuously stir until your soup is well incorporated into the butter you'll see that it all starts to come together and you won't see very much separation it'll just look like the tomato soup now make sure your contents are still hot and you're going to pour them right into a canning jar contents have to be ripping hot then we're going to put the canning jar lid on top and seal it up. Now, because the contents are hot, as they cool, it's gonna automatically can itself and seal up. And then you can keep this in the freezer for, I don't know, a year at least. Grilled cheese with tomato soup. Sexy.